Hey, follow me. I'm going to show you something. Welcome to Equine Performance Innovative Center, where innovation becomes care and recovery becomes transformation. At Epic, we are dedicated to innovative, cutting edge technology from advanced regenerative therapy to advanced recovery tools. Our mission is to transform patients to reach their peak performance ability. Look at that feet. So this horse is in the vibration plate. And look at that feet. We have almost two feet, but it's not two feet, right? We have two layers of feet growing. This horse was diagnosed very early with laminitis. This horse got very, very sick at high temperatures. And we were able to diagnose very early by finding what we call the radiolucent zone. And I'm gonna show you the new research on laminitis with the radiolucent zone and how we catch him really early. We put in the oxygen hyperbaric chamber, we put him in the salt water spa that we have here. And then what we were able to do, we were actually able to reverse the process of laminitis save this horse's feet and conserve her athletic potential. So, so now I'm going to show you the x-rays or radiograph of that particular horse that you were seeing in the vibration plate. What we are seeing here is I want you to focus on this area here and we're going to call this the radiolucent zone. The radiolucent zone. I'm going to show you something really actually really cool because lately we have been finding out that this particular area between here and here is a very, very important area. This area is extremely important because we are recognizing the earliest sign of laminitis in the radiograph. Right here, some people back in the days will talk about rotation and foundering and all these terms, right? That, that basically means that the horse has laminitis and the, the structure of the foot is not healthy. And by the way, if you want to learn more about that, go to my book, equinefootsecrets.com. This book, you could get it on Amazon. And this book is designed to help you understand the anatomy of the foot. I'm just going to give you a quick example. So what I did is put in very, very easy terms, sections of the foot, so that you can understand a lot more about your horse. And there are tons, tons of graphics on how to understand what's going on inside the foot. So Equine Foot Secrets is designed for horse owners and trainers to explain what's going on inside the foot, right? So in this particular horse, we were able to identify this radiolucent zone, which was actually extremely helpful because we know that if that zone is more than seven millimeters, the horse could be in trouble. And sure enough, look at this particular horse. It was about 11 millimeters here and eight millimeters here. So what we do at that moment when we diagnose the problem, we completely stop the horse, we don't wait and see what happened. Like I was telling you earlier, we start going, okay, hyperbaric oxygen chamber, salt water spa, um, acupuncture, vibration play. We actually go what we call whole hog, the Cadillac treatment, because these are very valuable horses and we don't want to wait and see what happened. We just want to treat as soon as possible. And what's the result? I just showed you. This horse is starting to develop a brand new hoof. And this particular horse is actually going to recover completely where if we would have not been paying attention to what was going on every week almost almost every other day we would have actually lost the horse so lesson of the day diagnose early take a lot of radiograph if we suspect laminitis and we don't have evidence of rotation we go back to that radiolucent zone and we attack as aggressive as possible. So that's all we're doing here. It's actually a very cool case because it shows you how being proactive, being proactive about diagnosing and treating laminated is actually the way to go. Sometimes, many times, too many times, we go into, okay, let's wait and see what happens. Let's wait and see what happens. But what I have found out is that when we are waiting and see what happens, that might be sometimes too late. Because yes, probably 60% of the horses that we treat 
will get better by themselves. But I'm not interested in that 60%. I'm interested in the other 40%. What can I do to take that 40% and make it 20, 10, or 0? So this is actually a perfect example, extremely good example of how we can early diagnose laminitis and make a horse better soon.